robbing everything in jailbreak. This video is kind of half a tutorial and half just grinding episodes. I'm going to try and rob every single thing in the game and maybe give a bit of a review on what's my favourite. Be sure to like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start off with the cargo plane since that's just coming in now. This is probably one of the easiest robberies in the game apart from the small stores. Even though it is pretty much exactly the same. There's a police just around that corner. Okay, I'm just going to buy. He's still there. Where though? He's behind the crate, the thing. Go away, dude. Go away. Get out of here, man. Okay, there's another criminal. I got scared. I thought there was another police. Okay. To rob the cargo plane, you just board it over by the airport over here at the bottom of the map. You wait for about 30 seconds and you press E. Yep, that's literally all you do. As soon as it's taken off, you can hold E to steal the crate. You have a 1 in 7 chance of getting a key card, which I got. So now I've got to hold another crate. Unfortunately, the key card is literally useless now because you don't need a key card to leave the plane. So I don't know why it's still in there. Either way, once you grab the crate, just come over here. Hold E to open the door and you're done. And then you just need to take it to the port over here and claim the money. Hooray. That's a very easy 4,000 cash. Move. You too. The next thing I'm going to rob is the cargo train, which should be about to come in now. It starts off in the crater city just over here and follows the train track all the way down to near the gas station. Here we go. No, I didn't want to get off yet. Now I do. Just going to open the door. There's various different... Uh, Train carriages that you can get. This one has the holes in the floor. Reach the vault and open the door. In we go. Give me... Hello. Give me money, please, game. There we go. Give me money. I'm in the square. Okay. This really does not give enough money, in my opinion. It gives 3,500, which is debatable for the game pass. But you get, like, 1,500 without full duffel bag. And that's just pointless. There's no point even trying. And there you go. There's my 3,500 done. And apparently I left the train. So it just decided to claim it for me. Next, I'm going to grab myself a helicopter. And I'm going to go and do the cargo ship. I'm just going to go in here because I have a key card. Let's go. The cargo ship pretty much goes all the way down this side of the map. I think it spawns just behind this rock. And it ends over by the airport over there. Here we are. So this takes a bit of practice. It, it can be difficult at the start. You just come up with the helicopter with a rope. Try not to get shot down. You need to move with it. Oh, dear. Never had that happen before. Normally, you just hold it on the rope like I am now. You need to move with the boat. And yeah, you need to be quick. Don't be stupid. And you can do it perfectly fine, really. You just need to kind of move at the same speed as the boat if you can. Stay in one place. Then bring it over to the port, just like the cargo plane. And don't miss the hole. And yes, you can rob it twice. Honestly, that's really OP. The amount of money you get for that, it's really good. Now, currently, my least favorite robbery in the game is the tomb because it is so difficult to actually get somebody to rob it with you. It still needs three players to start it, and I don't know what's happened, but maybe it's the new robbery system. I think it is the new robbery system, really. It just doesn't happen. So while we wait for that, I'm going to go do this airdrop over here. Normally with airdrops, you're meant to kind of... Uh, the guys will fall from the sky, and you shoot them off, and then you claim the airdrop. More come, you kill them all, etc, etc. I'm not going to do that. Go out of full screen mode so you can see the top bar over here. You need to hold E, and then click on the top bar. And then the, hopefully your screen will freeze. The airdrop guys won't fall. The bandits, whatever. And then like halfway around, you want to check where you are. Because if you do hold it too long, you can be kicked from the game. And I'm going to get kicked from the game because I did that way too long. And I shouldn't be getting killed right now. I'm fine. There we go. I got 4k from that. That's all right. So yeah, it's fairly easy to do. I think I've only ever once actually done it legitimately. Now it's time to scream at people, even though they won't see it because of the stupid spammers in the chat, which I'm not going to show. Here's somebody. Hello, dude. Right, let's go. Let's go rob the tomb then. I would still say, maybe apart from the mansion, this is the most difficult robbery in the game. It just requires good obby skills, and it gets really easy. Simply just jump over these. They light up, and then like half a second after, they'll spike you. Like that. Fairly easy. And then these will also light up in a similar way, and you'll get hit after they've been lit up. By the arrows and all that. And you can do this, like, slowly to avoid getting hit. If you're new, that's good. But I just run for it. It's a bit of a waste of time. You can easily just jump across. You know, don't be stupid and you're fine. And then there's just a bridge there. Really easy. You just stand on the plank. They fall. As long as you sprint, you're fine. Come in here, grab the crate. The crate, the gem. Why have you guys not grabbed gems? Why are they just stood there? That's very strange. Anyway, you wait five years. The door will open. And you can get in the minecart. You can leave of two ways. One that will end you up in the city over here. And one that will take you up to near the volcano or the mini town. That depends on flicking the switch. Going to the left will take you to the city. 
And then along the way, you've just got to make sure you don't get hit by these, so you just press E to duck. You can literally hold down E for the whole thing, and it'll just do it automatically for you. So like that, immediately as it comes on, it goes away. I'm not clicking them, I'm just holding E. This gives a really generous pay of 7,000 cash, which I think is quite reasonable. Okay, so now we have the bank and the casino opening. So I will go to the casino first, I think. That's a bit easier. The casino is definitely an easy robbery, in my opinion. It gives a good amount of cash, though. And then you've got to find the code to open the door. And the code is anywhere in here. If you don't know how to find it, watch my video. I've got literally every single code location on there. It's my most viewed video, so, you know, it'll be easy to find. But the code for me is 3811. So then move over here, type the code into the door. And then you're in this ground floor, so just don't get hit by the lasers. Pretty simple. Security. Avoid the spotlights. And then find the computer that will disable the security for us. There we go. I got it on the third one. That was lucky. Hold on that. And then we can go down to the vaults. Oops. Okay, so now we're at the vaults. We need to come over here to one of the glass walls. That isn't it. That's a fake one. You need to break one of the glasses over here. Avoid all the lasers and just walk for a million miles. And then I think this is still a bit difficult to do. If you're laggy, you need to crack it. So as soon as the light turns green, you need to press E. One, and wait for it again. Two. So it's a reaction time test, basically. And then, big tip, don't go in the middle. Because them lasers can, like, kill you and glitch you and stuff. It's really bad. The anti-cheat can, like, fling you back. So if you want to, kind of stand next to it and grab the money from there. But don't actually go inside. It's a bit of a risk. And if there's police inside the casino, you need to wait for them up here. Because as soon as they come up that corridor there, it's just a straight shot. Really easy. There, you see? They were just a bit silly and didn't wait much. There we go. At least they got broken out. Okay, so moving along. Just go back the way it came. And then there's two different exits that you can do. Call the lift once again by pressing the button. And then you can either go to the roof or go back to the grounds. I like to go to the roof. Depending on where the campers might be, you might choose differently. But the roof is generally a safer option. Unless you hear a helicopter in which somebody could have come up here and is kind of waiting outside the door. It's a bit of a guessing game, really. And that's it, all done. Go and claim your money at the volcano base over here. At 8,000 cash, it's the most generous robbery that we have in the game. Except for the mansion, I guess you could say. And because of that, it's one of my favorites, definitely. 4k cash without the duffel bag is still really good. So the next thing I'm going to rob, then, is Camp City, or sorry, no, the jewelry store. It's going to be even worse in this lobby because there are a lot of police. So walk up to the red X and start punching some glass. You can collect up to 5,000 with the duffel bag or 2,500 without it. Ugh. And yeah, avoid the lasers. It's definitely a lot more difficult after they revamped it a couple of years ago now. Wow. But it's still pretty easy in my opinion. Usually the only time I do it is when I'm farming daily XP and I'll just grab 500 and go. Yeah, there's various different obbies that you've got to do in the last two floors. You can stand up on the metal part over here, just not on the ice. This is another obby. Just avoid the super fast lasers. Pretty easy. It just takes practice and knowing all the different floors. And then there's a few different exits. You can break the glass on the wall over there. Or if you come to the roof, there are several different doors to avoid campers. Normally, there'll be a swarm of about 10 of them. But I'm lucky, so I'm just going to go out this door over here. Which requires some smart play in avoiding the police, really. Then you can go to any criminal base and claim your cash. Now I think I'm going to do the museum. Because it's pretty fun. Okay, let's go. So one person has to hold on that. One person has to hold on that. And then you just need to come in here and start grabbing. So I'm just going to grab the paintings over here. Four, four, and then I'll grab two from the floor. Oh dear. And then there's two different puzzles. There's this one over here where you can just straighten out the diamonds. And then there's the other one over there where you got to organize the pipes. These two people have just done it all for me, so I can't really talk through it. One person has to be on either side to hold E on this lever, and then you can leave because you just stay up with security. Once again, be careful of campers. You can come over to the volcano base to claim your cash from the museum, which is a decent amount, 7,000. So next, I'm going to do the Crater City Bank. Strangely before the normal bank. So yeah, auto rollers do exist again, which is really sad. But this one over here is the presidential vault. This is super duper easy. Just avoid the thing, go into the divot to the wall, come over here and you can bust the vault. Then just stay in line with the lasers over here. And it's really hard to actually get killed. I recommend going onto this side, so then you've got a bit more of an angle towards police. This gives an insane amount of money, 7.5k. It's definitely worth it for a bank vault. That is the only thing, obviously, it's really easy to be busted by police, but if you're not stupid, then, you know, shoot them crazily. And yeah, obviously, you do need a key card to get into the bank. That goes without saying. It takes so long to collect so much money. Okay, let's go. Small little jumps, and they're going that way. Is the police still there? I've lost track. No, they got killed. Okay. 
I'm gonna go up this way. Ah! Oh, no! 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 I'm stupid! Oh, no. Why did I try and go for that? Okay. PSA, don't go for the second thing. Stay in the first one. Oh, I've lost everything. Okay, we'll count that as robbed. I'll do the other bank. For the memes, let's go and do the donut shop over here. Just hop through the window and hold E. How long has he been sleeping for? Too long. Excuse me, why did- Oh, leave me alone! Why didn't I get my money? But you guys saw I held E on that and I didn't get my money. That's- Well, I had 14,000 bounty. That was really good. Can't believe I haven't robbed this yet. I'm gonna do the power plant now. This one's all about speed. This one's all about speed and puzzle solving. So first you gotta come over to the wall and solve this puzzle over here just by lining them all up. So the zeros match with the zeros, etc. And then once you've dodged a few of them lasers over there, come down here and gotta do the same. It's a big computer. It's just joining up the wires as they say. All the way around like that and across. It will be random every time, but yeah. you'll get some difficult ones, but most of them are fairly easy. Once you've done that, you then just need to not get flattened, not die. If you have a tall avatar, you'll need to crouch under that. And then pick the door without the camper. So, he is on that side. He... Ooh. Hello, dude. Where am I going? Hmm? I'm going this way. Goodbye. Goodbye! That was so good. That was really good. i got to run, though, because he's going to be chasing me. I know. Ah! And then just bring it over to the volcano base as fast as you can. As the radium value does decrease, I got 4.95k. That's all right, you know? <gasps> no way! No way! Oh my god, a hypergrome! There you go, look at that. Nice. I would rather use the radiant, but you know, whatever. Moving on, let's do the passenger train then. So that does the opposite route to the cargo train, so that starts over by the gas station and finishes the crater assist. Go away, man. Why is he like really after me? I'm just gonna keep going in circles. If he wants to land, feel free. How long is he gonna keep this up for? Except for the fact he's landing on the other side, so I'm off. <laughs> he got so confused. Well, the train's gone, which is convenient. So now the police are doing the bank trucks. I'm going to head over to that. It starts over at the bank. And they need to drive it to wherever the destination is. So you just need to kind of see on the minimap and stuff where it is. The destination seems to be the uh, gun shop. You can see it's just over there. There is another criminal, so I'm going to help that dude out. Obviously, you're going into combat. There's going to be a lot of police over here. So you've uh, got to be careful. Where are all the police, man? Oh, wait, they're just in the thing. Oh, no, that's not the destination, right? I'm just going. I don't need to kill that one. Let's keep following it. Kill him. Die. Get out of the thing, man. That is one thing. I don't like how you're invincible when you're on top of it. I can understand the invincibility inside because it's like bullet bulletproof glass and all that. But where are they going? Are they meant to be at the prison? Literally, where are they going? Dude. And where are those two criminals? You're meant to be helping me. Yeah, they're going to prison. They're going to be too slow. Oh, see, I told you they were too slow. Okay, for the sake of completion, I'm going to say that I did the donut shop, and I'm just going to do the gas station. Once again, Asimo also takes a long, long time when he's sleeping. Easy peasy. Ah, don't run me over. Goodbye. What is he doing? You're just going to get kicked out of your car there, dude. I'm just going to kill him instead. There we go. There's another one. Whoops. Just hit all them shots. You can't tase me from there, man. I could do with that key card, actually. Um. <laughs> oh, wow. He really parachuted all the way here, didn't he? I'm just going to, like, kill him. Oh, there he is. Snipe. Oh. You can't tase me from there, dude. Just hiding behind the car. So you can't get hit. There we go. Goodbye. I could do the key card and then I'd do the oil rig. So the next thing I'm going to do is the oil rig. This is the newest robbery and I did do a tutorial on it fairly recently. You need to get at it by boat or the DeLorean. I love using the DeLorean. And then climb up the ladder and then you just need to shoot down a load of bandits. They have not started it yet for some reason, but I'm going to. And then here you go. They're really easy to kill. They take like 30 damage. That's it. There we go. You can no longer shoot them through the wall there, which is interesting. But they are really, really easy to kill. That dude really just blew up the barrel that was next to me. Horrible person. And there we go. We are done. So then we come in here, pull the lever. And do they have a key card? Oh, there's a police. Wow, okay. Hello, bandit. Oh, okay. That was risky. Dude, I'm literally on 1 HP. What are you doing to me? And there we go. Drank all that. So I'm going to move to the next room. Once again, it's just another power plant puzzle. So I'll let him do it. Kill the peeps. Throws on 1 HP. Right, okay. There we go, and finish drinking all that. Thank you. Do this one, which you need two people for. Thank you. Oh, dear. Nice. Pull that. And then while I'm over here, I'll grab a key card on the floor, because it's really convenient. And then just jump over here. Don't be stupid. There's no point placing that. We're really quick. I'm going to steal the last of the cash. And that is it. 8k cash. Let's get out of here. Little trick. Once the laser's gone, you can roll jump across that for escape. Anyway, I'm just going to use the jet ski over here because it's quite a fun exit. Whee! I don't know how they got to it by 
helicopter. And then bringing it over to the crime port, like so many other things. Dropping it off. Nice. Another 8k cash, that's a really good payout. And I'm going to go and head over to the bank, I think. Because, here we go. So we did the Crater City bank, I'm now going to do the normal one. They share the same floors. The Crater City has slightly fewer. Avoiding the lasers. The police have entered the building. I avoided the lasers, all that. I'm coming back up. He's, it's the same dude from outside. I just need to use my shotgun. I don't have my shotgun. You're not going to tase me, man. At least the thing has blown up perfectly for me. Now he's dead. Nice, right. Let's go do this properly now. Police is dead. Avoid the lasers. Well, there's another one. I could really, really, really do with my... Uh... I'm going to put a C4 there because that's fun. Die, man. Oh, it's just a noob. It's fine. Oh, dear. If he kills... You're the stupidest person alive. Why would you kill someone in the bank? Literally, what's the point in that? Okay, well, technically, that is everything robbed except for the mansion. And I still can't do that. I'm still too bad. So, <laughs> I'm going to call it here. I'm, I'm happy with what we did, Rob. Oh, well, I don't really care. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what your favorite robbery is in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one.